Namaste, good morning. This is Veronica. Welcome to this morning yoga session with me. And uh, today we'll be we'll be working on waking up with uh, energy and unblocking anything that has been bothering you or any tension that you might hold in the body and you wake up sometimes you still feel tired and you have to face the day so it's a really great um, session just to to start the day cleansed and empty and open to whatever miracles and adventures are coming so we'll be working with some pranayama to breathe to invite life force into the body and then with the energy block release sequence one is a drew yoga sequence to literally do that to unblock anything that is still living any tension still living in our bodies in our minds and to feel completely free to enjoy your day i hope you join me on the mat Ready. Place both hands on the belly with the palms touching the skin, touching the clothes. And just for a moment, just allow the hands to stay there. And notice the messages that you get through your skin, through the palms, when they touch your belly. What's the temperature? Just notice any movement. Slowly noticing the breath, gentle expansion without forcing anything every time that you breathe in, and the relaxation as you breathe out and how the hands start moving with the abdomen in a very natural way without forcing anything, just noticing. And as we keep breathing, in, breathing into the abdomen, maybe just start noticing what's happening on your sitting bones, the legs, the feet, feeling present. And noticing the strength and the solidity of the earth underneath you. You feel fully supported in this practice. And slowly as you breathe in, you feel the abdomen expanding. And as you breathe out, you feel the abdomen relaxing. And let's see if we can expand this, not just forward and coming back to neutral but just notice that that expansion is happening in your lower back as well so as you breathe in you feel the expansion the lower back the kidney area expanding backwards as well as the abdomen expanding forward and even sideways the whole of that area around your abdomen and lower back is expanding with every in breath and relaxing towards the center Every out breath. Just take three more breaths like this. Noticing the movement. Noticing how your body is receiving the warmth of your hands, the touch of your hands. And after the next out breath, very gently we move the left hand to the heart and we leave the right on the belly. And just take a moment just to stay here, there's no need 
There's no need to force any breath, change anything. And this time, maybe notice your heartbeat. Connecting with the strength of your life, of the life force. Feeling how the chest feels, how the heart feels, with the touch of your hand. And slowly start creating space and allowing that breath, that prana and life force to enter your body through the nostrils, traveling all the way down into the belly, expanding the belly, and allowing that breath to travel up sideways to the ribcage, off to the chest, filling the lungs, and as you breathe out, you relax the belly, relaxing the chest, the shoulders, go down. And we start the three-part yogi breath. So just breathing into the belly, feeling that expansion forwards and backwards as well. And feel that breath traveling like a wave up sideways the ribcage and up to the chest and the throat. And as you breathe out, just relax the belly, relax the chest and the shoulders down and return to the earth, feeling the earth underneath your sitting bones. And let's do it a few more times. time that you breathe in, you're breathing in energy into the body, awakening into another day. Every time you breathe out, you allow yourself to stay alert, but at the same time you're introducing this sense of relaxation, of calmness, of focus, of being here, of presence. And feeling how you're creating space inside with your breath. You're creating space for the organs to move freely, to expand, to contract. And this movement of the life force. As you completely trust the intelligence of every cell of the body awakening Awakening the body, awakening the mind, starting all the machinery so you can have a good day, you can have a successful day. And just one more cycle of breath. And when you're ready, just relaxing the arms down, bringing the palms together, take them towards the heart, take the thumbs towards the sternum, gently pressing noticing that part of your body that heart beats connecting with your inner self and from this space of inner truth we're going to open this session with three ohms together and we'll sang the om we'll chant the om with the out breath we first breathe in and we breathe out completely, letting go of anything we don't need right now. And ready for the ohms, breathing in. to bring into this vibration, to breathe into this vibration. And when you're 
very gently opening your eyes and taking the arms down start adding a little bit of movement to the body maybe stretching the legs and shake them a little bit shaking the arms and swinging the legs backwards tucking the toes under and slowly bring yourself up to a standing position and once standing just take a moment to just get used to be in this different position feeling the length of the spine feeling the feet grounded on the floor softening the knees making sure they're not bent but they're not locked either the same way nice in the middle adding a little bit of movement to the hips you can circle the hips they can go forwards and backwards and then try to find this place right in the middle find that neutral relax there relax the arms about side of the body try to bring the navel to lift it up to the sternum lifting the sternum up to the sky and relaxing the arms about sides of the body shoulders down chin slightly tucked in I'm feeling with every in breath from the crown of your breath of your head you are lifting the whole of the body is lifting with that life force with that breath up towards the sky and it, you're lucky to be in a sunny place like I am. You might not be able to open your eyes very much, but um, it's a really beautiful sensation to have that warmth in your face. So going back to the feet, as we are trying to wake up in a grounded way for today's um, adventures, and with the awareness in the soles of the feet, we start rocking forwards and backwards as we start our energy block release sequence one. is a sequence for grounding, for arriving, for presence, a stretch to every muscle of your body, every, every part of your body. It's a, it's a sequence that is almost like going back home, going back home to who you are, to your body. grounding and just keeping that awareness down on the feet we just rock forwards and backwards trying to keep the soles of the feet down to the floor and making that movement smaller and smaller until we just stop in that place right in the middle and from here we sway from side to side Ooh, trying to keep your balance and just noticing the right side of the body, the left side of the body, and slowly making this movement smaller and smaller, smaller and smaller. Going back to this vertical line right in the middle of the body, that center slowly traveling towards the center, but allowing the body to take you there without forcing anything. Slowly the movement becomes smaller and smaller. And just come back to the center. And from here we take the right hand to the navel, the palm is facing up, and we take the other arm to the side. Allow it to travel above the head, bending the elbow, leading with the elbow, we're going to lift that side of the body as we breathe out, we lean towards one side, keep pushing both feet down, opening the rib cage. And with every out breath, letting go of any stuck emotion in your rib cage, which in yoga or in true yoga we call them the emotional filing cabinet of the body so making sure that anything very gently without forcing anything but anything that need to go we let it go with every out breath from that side of the body softening the knees and swapping over taking opposite hand to the belly up lifting through the elbow and leaning towards the other side oh, opening the other side and that feels so nice so good to do first thing in the morning when you do this sequence every morning your day is uh, it's a good day <laughs> when you don't do it you feel the difference softening the knees and taking the arms all the way up to the sky lifting from the base of the spine and as you breathe out softening the knees bending the elbows and taking the hands all the way down to the face and leading with the fingertips we travel all the way up and then taking them down and then we see how you feel about balance we're going to Travel all the way up, finding your balance and coming onto your toes. 
and with the out breath taking the heels down to the floor the arms on both sides of the body making soft fist and as you breathe in bending the elbows taking the hands to the shoulders that's the in breath as you breathe out flick the fingers to the sides and soften the knees and we'll do it twice more breathing in from the center of your heart flick all the energy away and out expanding your awareness breathing in expanding your subtle body your energy your breath taking the arms all the way down and slowly fingertips to the shoulders bending the knees and we start rolling taking the elbows up big circles on both sides rounding the back creating a beautiful spinal wave as you move opening the heart and then relaxing the arms and we're going to do it the other way back and forward dropping the head and really enjoy them shoulder blades expanding sideways and then we'll finish up as we start it taking the elbows up back and down we'll do it twice more breathing in softening the elbows letting go of any tension that you're holding there and when you're ready taking the arms down at both sides of the body and from here we're going to keep going with the shoulders taking the shoulders back elbows opening up opening of the hands opening of that chest lifting the chest up to the sternum and breathing in breathing in as you welcome that life force that in breath that sunshine or rain wherever you are <laughs> welcoming the new day and with the next out breath slowly we're going to take the wrist sideways elbows and squeezing the upper arms relaxing the head and we're going to breathe in and release so open up breathing out and squeeze breathing in and breathing out really squeeze breathing in and softening releasing breathing out and squeeze we're going to stay here really squeeze this is so great to waken up the mind it's so great to avoid any headache any tension in the neck it's a very good um, sequence to do at the end of the day as well but we're concentrating in awakening now so we just keep the right arm as it is and we turn the leg with the palm facing up as you straight and the legs and slowly we just move from side to side breathing in and breathing out and slowly following this dance as you travel all the way down towards the hips squeezing the upper arms in one arm and relaxing the hands and just taking the arms all the way down as we move into the neck we're going to breathe in and elongate that neck back of the neck lovely and long as you breathe out taking the chin down towards the chest breathing in taking the chin back double chins everyone or triple as many as you can and then pointing all the way up opening the throat your communication center and coming back to neutral breathing in and lifting as you breathe out Turn the head towards one shoulder and coming back to the center, breathing in, breathing out, turning the head towards the other side, breathing in, coming back to the center and breathing out, we're going to lean towards one side, allowing gravity to do the job so you don't really push anything. If you want a little bit of an extra stretch, you can press with the opposite hand down towards the floor and really enjoying such a simple yet powerful movement and just coming back to the center breathing in and let's go to the other side pushing down it's probably one of my favorite movements and as you breathe in just coming back to the center you're separating the legs about shoulder width apart and with the next in breath taking the arms up at shoulder level softening the elbows as you breathe in you lift as you breathe out you twist towards one side as we move into this dynamic twist, breathing in, coming back to the center, breathing out, we move to the other side. We breathe in, and this time we're going to take the left foot 90 degrees to the left. The back heel comes off the floor, and we keep twisting towards the side, taking the hand to the shoulder, right hand over left shoulder. And as we breathe in, we slowly come back to the center as we move towards the other side. Hand to the shoulder. And the next time for the stage three, what we do is we're going to do exactly the same, keep twisting and taking one hand to the shoulder, the other arm goes behind the back, bending the knee, lifting through the sternum and notching the twist a little bit more. And slowly just come back, come back to the center, breathing in, 
as we breathe out, we move towards the other side. Hand to the shoulder and behind your back, lifting up through the sternum, elongating the spine. And as you breathe out, just notch the twist a little bit more. With the next in breath, we come back to the center, taking the arms down. We walk the feet towards each other, stopping at hip width apart and taking the hands to the small of your back. Softening the knees, we're going to push the hips forward, squeezing those gluteals, pushing down with the feet, elbows towards each other, squeezing shoulder blades, lifting up through the sternum and opening into this back then and you can keep looking forward if the neck is a little bit delicate or you're not quite sure you're half asleep still because it's first thing in the morning and keep protecting that lower back pushing those kidneys down shoulder blades squeeze elbows as close as each other as possible or you can just go a little bit deeper it's up to you where you are today honoring your body exactly where you are so take another in breath here opening the heart and as you breathe out, you come all the way up into vertical, softening the knees and start coming forward into a tabletop. If you can, just straighten your legs, otherwise keep the knees bent, protecting the lower back. And just everyone bending the knees, drop the head, squeezing the abdominals and start and curling the spine, creating this beautiful spinal wave, making sure every vertebra moves one after the other. And we'll do it again, breathing in, back down breathing out coming up and this time we go a little bit lower towards the knees dropping the head completely letting go bending the knees pushing down through the soles of the feet squeezing the abdominals and then curling the spine coming all the way up breathing in and lifting I'm breathing out this is the last time hinging from the hips open heart traveling all the way down letting go of the arms and separating the feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart and just just staying here for a moment, getting hold of the elbows, and maybe swinging from side to side and allowing the lower back to release, to loosen up. And then the view that normally you don't see because it's at the back, and uh, I'm lucky enough to see this beautiful Mediterranean sea, and beautiful horizon and sky. And just slowly coming back to the center. The left foot turns about 45 degrees and we hover with all of the body towards that center, toward that side. If you, um, it's uh, keeping the, the leg straight is a little bit of a challenge, you can bend the knee, taking the chest towards the thigh and relaxing the head down. And with every out there, you try to relax the back of the leg. And maybe with every out there, slowly, slowly, you can straighten it a little bit more. If it doesn't happen, keep it bent. The important thing is that the chest is as low and as close to the thigh as possible. And just slowly moving towards the side, readjusting the feet, going towards the right. Right foot 45 degrees to the right, traveling all the way to that side, and bending the knees, chest to the side. And with every out breath, we maybe are able to straighten that leg. And when it's first thing in the morning, even my hamstrings are very, very tight. And you just take your time and it's all totally okay to keep it a little bit bent like that. And just we come back to the center, we walk the feet towards each other, stopping at hip width apart. Feeling again when you are when you are in a forward bend, the whole perspective of the world changes. And the brain and the mind starts getting nourished. And we just allow it to relax. The head is lower than the heart. Also give you awareness in the feet, with awareness in mm. that earth underneath you. And as you bend the knee, fingers and fingertips to the earth, we're going to shift the weight of the body to the front. Then we raise a little bit more, hips down, and find your balance into the squat. Taking the arms down, pushing down into the earth, hips up to the sky, drop the head. And we'll do it once more, coming forward into the toes, bending the knees, finding your squat, finding your balance. And then down, maybe once more, just for good luck. <laughs> and just coming forward, bending the knees, sit down. And breathing in, up. And as you breathe out, 
This is the last time. So we push down, the hips come up to the sky, we stand on the feet and just for a little bit longer, you can start playing a little bit with the hamstrings, either strengthening the legs, but don't forcing anything. We never force anything, we never push, we allow things to happen. And just maybe then in the knees and very slowly squeezing the abdomen as we're going to press down with the feet into the earth, feeling the strength of the air, the salinity, feeling all the nourishment that is coming up through the soles of the feet with the in breath, through the legs, traveling towards the hip as we uncurl vertebra by vertebra, feeling that in breath from the earth, traveling to the heart, feeling the heart coming all the way up through the throat, the face the forehead of the sky we breathe into the whole of the body and as you breathe out you allow that breath to cascade down from the head to the toes relaxing nourishing all the way down to the earth arriving feeling solid feeling ready for another day and that was the energy block release sequence one And after this, it's, very, it's a very gentle sequence, but at the same time, it's, uh, very, it's very powerful. So we always need to finish in Shavasana, lying down on the back. And this is the best part of yoga, so just don't miss it. <laughs> it's a more important one. We relax the arms about sides of the body, separate them a little bit, palms up, separating the legs and allowing the feet to roll outward, relaxing uh, the neck. Taking a deep breath into the whole of the body. Breathing out with a sigh. And for the next few moments, just allow the earth to take the weight of the body, the weight of your thoughts and your plans and your experiences let, let yourself be supported and held noticing any area of tension in the body send the out breath letting it go Feeling the breath, the life force traveling in your body. The earth beneath you, the sky above you. And start taking a few deeper breaths. Bringing more and more energy into the body, into the mind, into your day. And start adding some movement to the toes, to the fingers. Maybe take the arms up and above the head. Give yourself a lovely stretch. Maybe bending the knees, rocking from side to side. And just rotating to your right side. You might want to stay here for a few breaths or just in your own time. Pushing yourself up into a comfortable sitting position. And taking a moment here to capture this moment, to breathe into this moment, into this peace you have created at the start of your day, taking the hands and the most to the heart, allowing the thumbs to gently press on the sternum, taking a deep breath in, and breathing out. We'll finish with an OM. Ah.
Hari Om Tat Sat. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.